Hello guys, hope you all are doing good and this is Dr. Vikas signing in and welcomes you to PP Mantra. Guys, being a postgraduate is really a matter of the pride and honor and if it is in the pharmaceuticals then definitely what worth it. So, and this comes with the especially the M Pharmacy that is the Master in Pharmacy course. So through this video let's explore, let's explore out all the aspects along with the key point checklist which you need to know before taking the admission. Let's begin. Guys, the duration of the M Pharmacy course is of two years consisting the semester pattern. That means you have to pursue the four semester in the total year, two years span and each semester is of six months. Out of these four semester, the first semester is actually common for all the branches. And let me uh, let you know that since it's a PG and M Pharm is actually the branch exclusive. So the first semester is common for all the branches. The third and second semester, uh, third semester is branch exclusive. That means you have to study all the content related to your branch. And the fourth semester is actually the totally the research project based. Means in first, second and third semester you have to pursue the theory subjects along with the practicals. And in the fourth semester there is no theory subjects only you have to pursue a research project. That particular research project, pro, uh, project you have to pursue under the supervision of the allocated guide or supervisor from your institute. So uh, the project is you, means it, you have to go into the lab, conduct the research project, prepare a thesis, submit the thesis at the online portal of your university and the external will come to take your viva. You have to defend your viva and then you will be awarded with the degree. One more thing is that the you have to also submit a synopsis means it, it's like a short trailer of the project in the third semester means the your guide will be allocated in the third semester only and with his or her help you have to prepare a synopsis of 20 to 25 pages consisting the introduction and plan of work your study uh, strategy what you will going to uh, perform in the uh, research project of the fourth semester so this is actually the core uh, duration of the course. A uh, few years back, uh, there are uh, very little uh, scope, uh, means uh, the number of branches uh, for the MPharm are very few, but uh, in the today's and the present time, uh, the institutes conducting MPharm offers a wide range of the branches, like for example, pharmaceutics, pharmacology, chemistry, cognosy, uh, clinical pharmacy, pharmacy practice, hospital pharmacy, and etc. etc. So there are uh, more than approximately 10 branches, I think, which uh, will you can get an opportunity to pursue M Pharm. And uh, if you have any query or question regarding how to select a branch for M Pharm, just leave a comment in the uh, comment box, and I'll try to help you out. Admission process uh, for taking the admission in M Pharm course curriculum has actually two variants. The first, uh, the first one is that in order to crack the admission in the top most uh, institute of the Bharat that is the NIPER, National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education Research and much more, you have to crack and uh, qualify a national level examination entitled the GPAT that is the Graduate Pharmacy Aptitude Test conducted by the national bodies like AICT, PCI and all and you have to qualify it. Once you qualified, you will get the scorecard and on the basis of its percentile, you can, you have, you can uh, appear in the counseling procedure or we can say some more filter barriers like the self entrance of the institute and then you can crack the, the admission for that particular institute. Also I would like to add that uh, uh, the most prominent feature of the qualifying GPAT that you also get a scholarship from the body in order to pursue the uh, curriculum. The second part is that the is that the direct admission on the basis of the percentage of the B pharmacy that is your graduation. Most of the private institutes offers the M Pharm course on the basis of direct uh, your graduation. The number of seats allotment in the M Pharm course is actually is as per the guidelines is that it is it has been equipped on the basis of the that is the five candidates per faculty member in the, in the institute qualified faculty member. So for example, if the institute has one qualified pharmaceutics faculty, 
in that particular institute then the guy then the authority will allot only five seats to it if they have three faculties then 15 seats and so on so this is how the number of seats has been decided along with this as per the which we are uh, just discussed about the branches and institute i would like to add one very important point that you should keep in mind and that is if you get a chance good fair chance enough to in getting the good institute most of the people get deflected or diverted and they compromise with the branch don't do it be stuck stick to your branch preference since branch is the very important in the whole life career so accordingly due to some reasons you are not able to get your targeted branch in a top most institute so compromise with that particular institute but don't compromise with the branch uh, fees of the mpharm course curriculum is actually is also divided into two where it comes with the two variants that means where on one hand the government institute cost around 50000 to 1 lakh and on the other hand the private institute cost around 2 lakh to 5 lakhs so this is actually diversified because of the several reasons if you want to know just leave a comment on the comment box and i'll try to help you out and uh, secondly i also would like to add that uh, the category stu uh, students that is the students belonging to sc st obc get a benefit of the category and on the other hand the general category students can also get the benefit of the a scholarship which we can acquire through GPAD. So these are the two features. So guys, it's time for the checklist which we have to keep in mind before taking the admission. The first one is that the institute must be approved from PCI that is the Pharmacy Council of India. There is one more affiliation and approval that is the NBA that is National Board of Accreditation. This is not mandatory but if the institute has it, so it is really worthy. The second one is the faculty. Whichever institute you have targeted to take and particular branch you have targeted, that institute must have the PhD guy or PhD faculty in that particular branch because the heart of the MPharm lies in its project work which you pursue in the fourth semester and that particular project you pursue under the supervision of the allocated guide. So that guide must be PhD in that particular field. This is very important because until and unless you cannot learn the good things, it will not be worthful. So keep in mind that just physically check the institute, meet with the faculty before the admission and they should have the PhD in that particular branch. The third one is the availability of the sophisticated instruments. Guys, the normal institute is the normal feature of the normal colleges. But in order to get, get well versed with the course and to take the most out of this course, you have to hand you have to learn to handle these sophisticated instruments instruments like hplc high performance liquid chromatography uv nmr ftir dsc zeta potential and all like that these must be there in that particular institute in the form of central instrumentation laboratory so before taking the admission go visit and check physically all that this uh, instruments are there and there or not so that only you can become a good postgraduate person Fourth one is that before taking the admission, just uh, uh, take out the syllabus, print out, take the print out of the syllabus of the branch, go through it. And if you find it familiar, then it will be helpful for you. So keep these uh, four features in your mind before taking the admission. So that's all guys. I think uh, this will be enough for this <coughs> information for this course. If you find anything fruitful and please do like and share and don't forget to press the subscribe button, <coughs> subscribe button and uh, hitting the bell icon. So here I sign off and see you in the next video. Till then stay motivated and work smarter. Good luck.